When we model systems, we usually first specify these systems roughly and then refine them later. A component usually describes a system module which can again consist of submodules. These submodules can be either components or placeholders for further components. These placeholders are often called parts and are UML property elements. The part is only a name for the use of a property element that is used as part of a component. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use the property elements as placeholders to address reuse of model elements. Let me illustrate the situation better using this example. I have created a component diagram where I created two components, auto and boat, both having a subcomponents representing a type of drive. So now I would like to change the auto into a hybrid. So I'm going to drag and drop an electric motor onto the auto component and place it as a link. Oh, what happened? EA doesn't let me because I cannot have one element visualized more than two times on one diagram. How to get out of this situation? Well, since we focus on the creation of a hybrid auto, we can just change the ownership of the electric motor by moving it using in the browser, moving it from boat to auto, and then we can change the position of electric motor on a diagram. This can be also done easily by temporarily disabling the automatic nesting mechanism by pressing Alt key when moving the diagram object. Automatic nesting works as follows. If a diagram object is dragged into another diagram object, the dragged object is automatically nested under the other model element. Please note that this works only if both model elements are under the same package. This feature can be also permanently disabled in the properties. Okay then, the hybrid has been resolved. But what if we want to create a boat having two combustion engines? Common sense tells you, why don't you create another diagram for a boat? Okay, let's do that. B-O-A-T, okay. Here I come. So I will drag and drop the already existing component on the newly created diagram and drag in the combustion engine from the browser and drop it onto a diagram as link. Okay. How about the second combustion engine? Let's try it again. You already know what's going to happen, don't you? How to solve this situation? Well, we got two options. Option number one is that we will add multiplicity to the combustion engine to represent the amount of engines. In our case, number two. The second option in our situation would be creating a second model element combustion engine. This approach is definitely not recommended because it results in unwanted redundancies in the model. Since the model element combustion engine stands for all characteristics of an internal combustion engine and would now be available in duplicate. Nesting of components into components is technically possible, but has the mentioned constraints. Now, let's try a slightly different and UML compliant approach. I will create a new package. And under the package, there will be a component diagram with auto and boat components in there. So as of now, nothing stops me in creating a hybrid auto. Let's use the other approach. I'm dragging the existing combustion engine component and dropping as not link, but as a property. The result is a new model element, the property, which is now below the auto component in the project browser. The type of property model element is now combustion engine. And now I quickly repeat the insertion for the electric motor and the two combustion engines of the boat. What have we achieved? Since the property elements serve as placeholders for a concrete characteristic of the component that are set as type of property, it's obvious that reuse and multiple use of model elements are no longer a problem. 
I should know that the auto and boat components are seen as a representation of all cars and boats we build. Therefore, it's an abstraction of all cars and boats with different engines. We do not describe a specific car or boat. To describe a specific vehicle, we need to create an instance of the component. To describe a variant of a vehicle, we can insert the vehicle as a property in a diagram. This and many other exercises can be found in our book Compendium of Enterprise Architect. This paperback serves as the documentation and guide for UMLith Enterprise Architect training, but is also excellent for self-study, delivery within Europe and worldwide. <laughs>